<laughs> she is more she's stronger than I remember. So yeah, we're gonna use her since she was hitting for like eighty-four. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Warlick again just to make sure I have the uh, whatever it is triggered. Oh, whoops. Infusion of Warlick. Dragon Egg. I wish it would just take me to the cave instead of making me stand there. Alright, now I want to go up. Down is to the waterfall. Jesus. Alright. This should go much smoother now. You didn't do that before. Whatever. We'll kill the bug first. Uh, we'll go with high kick. Mm. Lovely. Attack the jerk in the middle first. <laughs> this pleases me. It's mildly cathartic, in fact. I should be able to kill him with my next attack with my character. I'm still taking a lot of damage from this though, which is unfortunate. Oh, for real? I don't know if this will kill him, but... No, he didn't. That's unfortunate. Ouch. I didn't realize that was a dot. Ouch. Okay. So, attack him. Take him out. I'll just have to settle for Valencia's normal attack. still sustained a lot of damage. I'm sure if I tried to mitigate that with smoke at the beginning it would have turned out better, but you know. We're just gonna attack now.
This is wonderful. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that was like three screens from victory here. All right. <laughs> Cut his life in half. Is he resistant to fire stuff? Not that it matters. Valencia, destroyer of worlds. Twin blade rapier. Ooh. All right. Oh, it's a dragon amulet. <laughs> Oh, that looks really cool, too. Uh, I'll keep it around, because, like I said, I am eventually going to buy Dragon Amulet, because, you know, it's not like they don't deserve my money. I'm just staving off for, you know, general purposes of not spending money when I don't really need to yet, but it's gonna happen. Or maybe that will actually sell for something, too. Uh, dragon egg. What do you need that? You're all wet. A bag of fish? See, as tongue-in-cheek as the game is, it still does like to fall into pretty standard tropes. Found item. Found a bag of salmon. Does that count? <laughs> okay. I mean, if I don't have to go into the waterfall or whatever, I'm cool with that. I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure the dungeon is go to the waterfall. Yeah, it would be nice if he would stay spawned when I leave the area. Oh, it worked. Old wind bag. Hmm, wind nip. Wind elementals just cannot get enough of the stuff. Go to the wind cave to the north. Alright. Oh, right. That must be what this is. It's almost like, it's almost like they want to break the convention by, or not break the convention necessarily, because it still is just a bunch of random fetch questy gobbledygook, but, um, it would be super annoying if you had to do like three dun- or like, however many dungeons, just to get this one section of the whole plot and port prologue thing going. Dragon egg. The summoning. Oh. One, two, three, four. Alright, so two that were hard and then two that were like gimmies. That's not bad. We are ready to summon the monster who can determine the egg. I must warn you, this is extremely dangerous. Summon time. Well done, hero. We got the fire yarn, indestructible litter, salmon. And the wind nip. Everything that we will need to pull this monster from its own world, or from its world to our own. 
We are ready to begin the spell. Remember, this creature is very dangerous and feasts on dragon eggs. It will sniff the eggs and it will begin to dispel the dragon illusion where it finds. When it finds which egg is the real one. Sorry about that. I just figured with my uh, one recording going awry after I got over an hour. I figured maybe I should split the video a little bit. It'll sniff the eggs and begin to dispel the... Oh, I already said that. Once it, is, uh, once it has unveiled the true dragon egg, you will have to step in and banish the beast back to its own plane. Otherwise, it will devour the egg. Got it. I'm ready. Alright, here we go. Mew. Oh, it's so cute. Do not be fooled by the Doom Kitten's appearance. It only assumes this form, too. The Doom Kitten? I want to hug it. Just let it pick an egg. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Mew. There. It's, it, it's chosen, and the egg is quickly beginning to dispel the illusion. Quickly banish it. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, it resisted the immobility effect. Well, let's see what it... Okay, so it doesn't resist water. It only kind of resists fire. What about steel? Nah, I'm gonna wing it. But let's see, I get it with a good old high kick. Ouch! I'll hit it with a rapid attack, and then I'll pop it. Jeez. Okay. Dual attack. Ouch. So I think we're going to be able to do this. It's looking pretty even right now. And even though my attacks are very much... Oh god, oh god. Never mind. I was going to say my attacks don't hurt it much. But Valencia's seem to do enough damage to make up for it. Thank god that one missed. Like, it was, it cuts a damage from everything in half except for water. Which, you know, because cats and stuff. Does it resist light, too? I'm not even, even looking. It does resist light. That doesn't even make sense. Take that, Doom Kitten. Objective completed. Um, what's going on? You saved the dragon egg from being eaten by the Doom Kitten, and now you know which egg is real. Once it senses that you have found a safe place for it, it will drop its illusion and show its true form. A little weird. Alright, the warlick, what you got for me? The dragon egg. The egg. We did it. While I would love to study your egg further, you should return to Twilly and find a safe place to hide until the, the egg until it hatches. Yes. Alright, thanks, warlick. 
you were splendid. We'll come back here at some other time. Return to town. Too bad that doesn't return me all the way to town. Oh, I guess I could run up here and show you guys what the uh, Falcon Reach Tower looks like, at least. Because typically you can just go to the little book interface here and teleport wherever you need to go most of the time. I don't know, can I run inside? Is there even a purpose for this? I don't remember. I'm also being sidetracked here. Well, we'll determine the necessity for that some other time, or we'll look around some other time. Uh, we can go to the left here, and it'll give us a cool, epic looking over town shot, like at the beginning of the game. And this way is the uh, travel map. Yeah. Falcon Reach Heroes Welcome. Alright, Secret Cave. Amazing, you have the dragon egg. You better put it in a safe place. I know a cave. I hope I just have to walk here. I'm pretty sure you don't have to fight anything. There we go. So, I'm pretty sure the color of the egg is irrelevant to what it will hatch into. Unless that's always just been because of the dragon amulet. Or me not actually having the dragon amulet when I do this. I like that one quite a bit. I'm pretty sure that one's a face. Yeah. I want this egg. Cool. Please let me move. I can't move. I'll just go back to the hometown real quick. Talk to him one more time. And the hatching. Okay, it's time. Quick. Go, let's go to the cave where your dragon egg is. Alright, hold on. You did it. You are now in possession of the dragon egg. Now, how can you make him hatch and become a dragon lord? Alright. The hatching. What took you so long? You almost missed it. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long to see this day. I don't get to see a dragon hatch every day, especially one so special. Twilly, you knew that it was going to hatch today? Sure, Lady Celestia gave me the exact date and time of the hatching. What? Why doesn't anyone ever tell me anything? I tried everything to get this thing to hatch. Really? Like what? Well, I tried sitting on it, of course. Bored. 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 I tried singing to it. rock by eggy in the stone claws when the wind blows. The... Oh, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I tried asking it nicely. Please, 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 with sugar and candy and whatever dragons eat, puppies or princesses or something on top. 
I tried to gently tap on the egg. <laughs> uh, that's a morning star, dude. Okay, let's see which one of us breaks first. I even tried a saucy puppet shirt to coke it out. Coax it out. Oh, Mr. Pudding Cushions, you scoundrel. <laughs> Not even that worked. <laughs> oh, man. If I knew it was on a set timer, it would have saved me a lot of time. I don't know, look, it's moving. Lord Sepulcher, if the egg is moving, the hatching time is upon us at last. So, Dracula is doing this for some other guy? Oh no, the microphone fell over. With the might of this dragon at my command, the world will bow at my feet. The age of darkness begins as soon as the dragon takes its first breath. But the hatchling will only be a baby. How? A dragon amulet, Dracoth. With the power of the dragon amulet, the dragon will assume its wholly grown form at my command. My lord, a crack in the shell. A crack in the eggshell. It won't be long now. I, I don't know what I should do. Should I boil some water? <laughs> Why would you boil water? I don't know. I just know that people boil water when a baby's about to be born. Let's be ready for anything. We still don't know which dragon this will be. It'll either be the savior of the world or its destroyer. It's time. It's hatching. It's time. It is time. <laughs> hmm. Not exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> he just, uh, he just murdered it. Master, what have you done? Is that better, my little Draco Lich? I think I'll call you Fluffy. He just undeaded it. <laughs> Fluffy. Here we go. Oh, it's green. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. It doesn't look evil, does it, Twilly? Twilly? <laughs> Speak to Lady Celestia in Sunbreeze Grove. She should have some idea of what someone needs to do for a growing baby dragon. Alright, well, we got the prologue done, mostly. Celestia's stuff is kind of not as consequential. So we will call it a day here for now. As always, thank you for watching. I really enjoyed that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and follow me to Apex.